Greetings, spoke. Uh, welcome to another edition of User Delight with Microsoft Technology. So what we're going to do today is to talk about pivoting and unpivoting operations within Power Query inside of, of Power BI uh, desktop. This is a very important operation um, if you are on the operation side of things such as in finance or sales operations, so on and so forth. So let's see how this actually works. So I've got uh, Power BI desktop open up here. What I'm going to do immediately is going to go over to Power Query by clicking on Transform Data and Transform Data again in the main menu. So this goes away and opens our favorite tool, Power Query Editor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say New Source, and I'm going to go with an Excel data source. And then I'm going to go over to... I'm going to go over to uh, my uh, uh, my uh, folder here, Power Query, um, uh, you know, Power BI video folders, and I'm going to select um, this base data for class, right? So I run some classes, so I'm going to actually just select uh, some base data for it. And uh, this is going to open up the navigator. And then I'm going to select this uh, this uh, master budget table here. Okay, so I'm going to select this, click OK, and then this is going to bring up the you know some budgeting data, if you will, um, into Power Query. Now, as you notice over here, basically the data is in a pivoted format. What does that mean? Basically, it's got some attributes such as product segment and country in columns and some budget data here in other columns. However, if you notice the attribute of months, January, February, so on and so forth, is not in a column, but it's actually, it's not in one column is what I mean to say, but it's actually in one header up here. You see, January, February, March, et cetera, are in headers. They're not in one column. So the idea is to unpivot this and put the months in one column. So before I do that, I'm going to just clean up this data. As you can see, the data, you know, the labels are not repeated here. So I'm going to right mouse on the product column. I'm just going to say fill down, and then I'm going to make sure that the columns are OK. Um, and I'm going to select January all the way until December here, and then get rid of the nulls because you cannot work with nulls in Power BI, so I'm going to say replace the nulls with zero and click OK. So here comes the important operation, right? So I've got all of these columns from January until December selected. And then what I do is I right mouse on this, right? I'm going to reselect this. Sorry, kindly give me a second. I'm going to reselect this January all the way until December. And then I can right mouse on this. And down here, you see unpivot only selected columns, right? I could either do this or I could actually go to transform. And you see this tiny little menu here that says unpivot columns. Do the drop down on this and unpivot only selected columns. Whichever is convenient to you, you could either choose, uh, you could choose either. So I'm going to say unpivot only selected columns and voila. You've got your attribute of months. I'm going to just rename this as month. So basically, you have, um, oops, month. There you go. And then you basically have months in one column and the values here in another column. Incidentally, this format of actually putting all your attributes in one single column, product, segment, country, and month, and then the actual values in another column is basically referred to as normalizing data or the normalized format. So what we went was from a pivot table format to a normalized format, okay? Very, very important when you're actually dealing with data is to deal with normalized formats because pivot table format will not allow you to create a proper data model. I trust this was helpful. Uh, see you, uh, again in um, uh, videos on Power BI and Power Apps and so on and so forth. Thank you very much, folks.